Saudi Arabia, the night is where everything comes alive. This is after Isha, everyone's free. My shopping begins. Anyone looking for Louis Vuitton bags? Huh? Taking a video. Who? In the Just now? Yeah, You're taking a video? Eh? Video is Sawarna? No, Let me see. Yeah, you're taking a video? Video, Savarna? Savarna? Let me open, open huh? photo. photo. Let me see. You take a video of the girls, huh? No photo, photo. Savar, Savar. La? Mafi, Mafi, Asadi. Temnui, Pakistan. Yeah. Yemeni, Yemeni. Yeah. Open your phone. Mafi suwer. Walla mafi. Open your phone. Ya walad. Open. La la mafi suwer ya sidi. Ana mafi suwer. Aib kalam. Open your phone. Ya sidi kulak mafi suwer. Open, open. Okay. Show me photo. Huh? Photo app. La mafi la. Why? Suwer al furnish ma. So as this altercation was happening, a bunch of guys came around the corner and surrounded us. Uh, this caught me a little bit off guard and I stopped recording at this point. Their attitude towards me was pretty aggressive off the bat. And I was trying to explain to them like, hey man, this guy right here is recording my mom and my wife and my sister and he needs to delete those files or I'm gonna call the police. As soon as they heard the word police, their whole attitude changed. So I turned back around to talk to this guy and I see him actively deleting images from his gallery. And uh, he looks at me and he says, hey, look, you can check my phone now. And I was like, okay, that's weird because before you weren't uh, so happy to give me your phone. So I took his phone, I looked at the gallery. He did not have any of the photographs. Everything seemed to have been deleted. And I said to myself, you know, there's no need to make this uh, to a, a big issue. And I just decided to drop it and, and move on. One lesson that, you know, that I learned is that, you know, when you're traveling, you gotta be careful. You just don't know what's happening when you're not looking. Oh, Jitta. Shopping. You wanna buy this stuff? It's kind of elaborate. Not like this. They have braces. The thing about Saudi Arabia is that if your wife and your sister and your mom are wearing the same outfit, you can't find them in a crowd. That's the one thing. This used to be Abdulaziz's residence, the first king of Saudi Arabia's house, I think. One thing I want to bring your attention to is the flooring. So my uncle, who passed away from COVID, who I really look up to, was responsible for doing the um, construction of uh, the flooring here. All the pavement that's done here, he was a project manager that worked on this. Al Balad is one of the oldest cities in Saudi Arabia. It dates back to the seventh century. It has a very beautiful and unique artificial style using wooden enclosed balconies. And some of these buildings are over 500 years old. What do you think? What do you think? 
يا ريت هذا برضه حلو في على الوان كرار 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 هذا في كرار هذا في كرار ما شاء الله خلص جيت معي والله مره حلو والله مره حلو I'll figure it out. How much is this? 15, 1.5. 1.5. 15. 15. The store is so nice. It's beautiful. And vibrant. Salma, I'm Muhammad. Salma, Salma, I'm Muhammad. This one? Yeah. When you're wearing a mask, it's a lot more. Yeah. How do I look? Is that good? We had a very educational and interesting day and we decided to go to Cheesecake Factory for dinner. I ordered the tenderloin with mushroom sauce and the mashed potatoes and we also ordered some chicken parm which was amazing as well. Cheesecake Factory, these guys know what they're doing. The beef bacon burger at Shake Shack was something that did not disappoint. I just thought that the beef bacon itself was a little stringy. Other than that, it was great. Corn on the cob on the beach. Oh. <laughs> Balila. Wow. It's a mixture of chickpeas, some pickles, some vinegar, lemon, Hello. and some hot sauce, I guess. It's hot. Uh, some chickpeas. It has some sort of cumin seasoning in it. I don't know what this is, some sort of a pickle and it's red and it already smells like it's gonna taste amazing let's try it let's try it let's try it in this bite i got and i'll set that too apparently according to my mom which is hot sauce mm. it's tart it's like a tart chickpeas vinegary uh salty and uh, lemony. Hot. And it's spicy. You wanna try it? Yeah. Like if you swam in here, you'd be swimming in fish in that water. That's a huge school of fish. Oh my god. Oh, he caught one. He caught one. Did someone mah? Did someone mah? Who? Did someone? The blish I shall have.
this is a very famous uh, mandi place in Jeddah. It's called Al Romancia. Romancia. Al Romancia. Oh, so family entrance is over there. This is for singles only. So Ankar can come here. Oh wow. This is the office for catering. Oh my god. Look at that. It's a heart. The chicken. Grilled no fire lamb. Oh man, I'm ready to romance the shit out of this Monday. This is so cool. We have boots that uh, you can rent out and you can have a nice Arabic meal in there. Our boots is being cleaned up. Nice. Oh, oh, whose shoes are those? That's uh, Odai's and mine. Hello, Mr. Helen. Oh, that's what it does. <laughs> oh my god. This is the mandi ready to eat. Some gandhi mandi, yo. This is lamb mandi. This is a Gulf Arab dish. This is a very, very important part of the Arab diet. We got some kebabs. We got some hummus. We have a little bit of uh, spaghetti in this rice. These rice are apparently one of the most flavorful rice in the world. And we got a lamb stew slash soup. And we got salad. But nobody cares about that. And some really so nice hot sauce chutney. Chutneys, not chutneys. <laughs> All right, guys, let's dig in. Soup has some noodles in it. Oh wow, it's like a lentil and like broth, like a lamb broth. It's really good soup. Mm. Mm. So hearty and savory. Got some noodles. Mm. 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 It just like makes you feel so comforted. All right, time to try the lamb. Oh my God, this thing is dripping. Oh, Jesus. I don't know where this meat is from, but I'm gonna take a little bit of spaghetti. I'm gonna take a little bit of rice. Wow. I just wanna like, I just wanna close my eyes and just savor it forever. It's so amazing. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not not no exaggeration. Wow, really good it's the natural flavors of the meat that are just kind of coming through. It's amazing. Black you can't eat this every day. You can't eat this all the time. You have to eat this like once in a while. Otherwise, you'll have a heart attack. Big surprise. Spaghetti, yo. What is this? Sweet potato? Is it sweet potato? Mandi, if you haven't had it, is probably the most exquisite dishes on this planet. It's typically eaten in the Arab Gulf region and it originates from Yemen. This is basically a dish that puts meat, rice, and a beautiful blend of spices together in a pot, in a hole, that cooks together in a very long time. 